Hey, if you're interested in the behind the scenes of what it takes to make a, a YouTube ad for real estate investing or a Facebook ad or a Google ad, stay tuned because in this video, I am gonna show you the behind the scenes footage of me in the process of building out an ad, scripting it, shooting it, editing it, and then finally posting it for all to see. And then I'll at the very end show you how we measure metrics, track things to make sure it's performing properly. And if it's not performing properly, we ax it right away and move on to the next. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the scripting for the advertisement is one of the easier things for myself. Like I enjoy the process of writing, copywriting, and planning out in my head what to say within the advertisements. But I will break down some of the psychology of what's going on up here so you guys can duplicate it for yourself. And then I'll give you a few different tools or ideas to follow so you can have better flowing video ads and get higher conversion rates from those advertisements. So let's just jump in here. This is the ad that I'm going to be shooting. As you can tell here, I just typed it out on Microsoft Word. And what this ad is mainly for um, is this right here. Should you list with a realtor? And now the approach that I take is I'm not knocking the real estate agent niche because first off I am one, but on the home buying side of things or the, the direct to owner marketing side of things, you want to give them the pros and cons of everything. Pros and cons of your strategy versus the real estate agent side of the strategy because realtors, even though you might not like this, they have a lot more pull or they have a lot more um, desire in today's area than you or I might as a direct home buyer or a cash house buyer. And I never use the word investor because we don't want it to seem like we're taking advantage of the people. We're just a direct home buyer, or professional house buyer. So let's jump on into this advertisement. Uh, before I get into it, you can tell here that in some cases I, I kind of put out the scene as you would for a, any sort of script, just so I remember what's going on, what needs to take place. And then I kind of break down the, the thing and then a call to action, action at the very end. But I am going to give you a few details right now. So every ad should follow ADA formula, which is attention, interest, desire, action. So in this advertisement, my call to attention is, so it's basically a door knocking scene. And this is actually a warm ad, but this is door knocking scene of a realtor asking an owner if they want to sell. So with this, and then it, it calls back to the previous advertisements that I said, and it, it kind of invokes that ability to realize that this is, they know it's an ad. It's like you and I aren't fooling anyone. These are advertisements that we're running, so you might as well call it out. So this is grabbing the attention. Well, hello, have you been thinking about selling your house? And it's it's myself knocking on the door to my wife, which I'll show you the behind the scenes of in the next couple of minutes. Well, hi, have you been thinking about selling this house lately? Uh, possibly, why? Well, I don't know, the market's just going bananas lately. I guess it is, it's, okay. Milo and Ronnie now. <laughs> she did. It did splash. Yeah, I know it did. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Go close the door. Come on in. Come on. Do you want me to stop this video? Yeah. The market has been going bananas lately with a banana in hand. And then Katie, my wife, shuts the door in my face. Another Wisconsin winter day. Let's see if we can drum up some business right now. <laughs> Hello? Hi, have you been thinking about selling this house lately? Uh, possibly, why? Well, I don't know, the market's just going bananas lately. I guess, it, is it, okay. So then I talk directly to the camera. There's a good chance if you're watching this ad today, you have seen some of our past ads on either Facebook, YouTube, or Google. And if that's the case, you may be considering an offer on your property. There's a good chance if you're watching this ad today, you've seen some of our past videos on Facebook, on YouTube, on Google, and you're wondering, okay, should I consider an offer on my property or should I list it with a realtor? And if you stay tuned to the rest of this video, I'm gonna break down four differences between selling it to us directly versus listing it on the market. So without further ado, let's jump on into it. So then I will hit on desire or interest 
and desire. And how I utilize both of these metrics is I tell people the pros and cons of every single one. So difference number one, as a realtor, we have the ability to suggest price, completely unaware of what that property will actually sell for. But as a direct home buyer, obviously we give you the exact price that we're going to pay without um, the, the uncertainty that's involved with it. So difference number one, real estate agents do not know for certain what your home is going to sell for. And when I say this, I'm specifically referring to list price. Now list price on a property is a minimum suggested offer that any potential home buyers out there should offer at. It's not for certain that you're going to get your, your $150,000 list price. You could get $120,000, but a real estate agent's job and duty is to figure out and research what other homes sold for and market yours at a similar price. Um, number two is no closing guarantee offered by a real estate brokerage, whereas when we buy your house, we're definitely going to close on it. We have the cash, we have no inspections, no contingencies. There's reassurance there. So you're peaking their interest and desire and you're building their desire versus cutting things down or, or not omitting the information as some salespeople do in hope that it will get them the sale in the end. Whereas people are a lot more educated than you or I might think. So you have to be truthful. You have to be honest with your advertising in hopes that you will pull them into the funnel and ultimately convert them as a lead or those of them that are interested in selling. And then lastly is the call to action. And then it's in these last few paragraphs. So after watching this ad, if, if you want to see what we can offer you for your house, go to flipfoxvalley.com today and fill out the form on our site. I will personally reach out, have a conversation. I will help you decide if listing the property is the right route or if selling direct might be a better fit. Like I said, go to flipfoxvalley.com and get your offer in 24 hours. So by doing this, we have the call to action at the end, which is most common. We will hook them in the beginning with this and throughout your video ad, and you'll be able to watch our behind the scenes of me actually creating it. You want to tell stories. You want to relate it back to the person who's going through the situation that you're trying to solve. What's most important is you need to realize that the, the prospect only cares about themselves. Of course, they might care about their family or friends, but in the end, they only care about how you can solve their problem and if it makes sense that you will be the solution to their problem by purchasing their property. So again, try your best to convince them of this through stories, through metaphors, and then ultimately at the, ask them at the end to take action and get an offer from you or your company. So let's jump into the behind the scenes right now of us actually creating the ad. Okay, so now that we've recorded the attention getting header to our advertisement, we need to record the rest of the content. So we'll jump into the office, we'll record it in front of a camera so it's easy to understand, the quality's good, we're not out in the freezing cold Wisconsin weather, and let's get into it right now. Okay, so all that content we just shot, we're gonna put it into a video editing software and mash it all together. So if you're on Macs, you can use iMovie, which I utilize, or if you're on PC, you can use whatever video editing software is out there. I'm not 100% certain, but we are just going to mash everything together. Hopefully this, go to our desktop, and then I will also upload the stuff from my phone that I had shot before. So. Let's go. The behind the scenes, what we need to do is start running the Facebook advertisement. That's the main reason why I created this Facebook or this ad, this video. Um, so what do you do from here? You're going to create a warm Facebook ad or a warm video ad. So we're gonna go into the ads manager. Okay, so then what we do once we're in the ads manager, we want a warm conversion targeting video ad. So we go into here and I'll just show you the basics of the campaign setup so you know what we're specifically targeting and you can duplicate it for yourself. Of course, it's a housing ad again, um, so it abides by the special ad category requirements. Nothing really more on here. We're shooting for conversions, um, buying type auction, that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna actually narrow down by the ad set because I already created an ad with this, so banana video with a realtor. Hopefully we get some decent traction on this, but we will wait and see. Hopefully let's get some conversions so I can show you guys some good results. So we are sending everything to our website to get them to fill out a form and then we'll of course reach out. We're spending $6 a day here, so a little bit up from the standard $3 a day. 
Um, and then we are retargeting through our pixel, we created these audiences. So we created an audience of people who have watched 25% of our cold videos up to 95%, people who have clicked on the call to action on our Facebook page, engaged with our Facebook page, engaged with the post, so like, comment, shared, that sort of stuff, um, have clicked our messenger button, visited the Facebook page, and then um, this stuff as well, and then also who have visited our website. So it's not just all the actions done on, on Facebook. Keep the ages open, again, we have to, all genders, no detailed targeting, and then we're just doing automatic placements. So it's fairly simple and easy for the warm ad build, and then we get into the actual advertisement in and of itself, which was the video that we just created. And let's see what I have for the ad, ad copy. If you are considering selling your property, there are a few key things you should know. The first is the difference between selling with a realtor versus selling directly to us. Ask yourself, do you want to experience the easiest home sale ever? Give us a chance to provide you an offer within 24 hours by going to flipfoxvalley.com, fill in on the form on top of the page and click get my fair cash offer. And then the headline is, should you list with a realtor or sell direct? Um, this is, generally speaking, what it looks like. And then we could, of course, hit play, watch the entire ad, or you guys can go to the Facebook ads library, watch the ad for yourself, see if you get a kick out of it, because it's roughly six minutes long, I believe. Another Wisconsin winter, uh, let's see. Six minutes and 12 seconds. So that is what we are going to hopefully get some conversions on. Now, just to wrap this video up, how do we track if the ads are performing well? What we are going to do in this specific example, of course, we're shooting for conversions. So conversions are the target, but again, these are videos. So we want to first off, make sure that people are watching the video. So we go by video engagement, we go through things, and then we watch to see how many people have watched our video in entirety. So these ones right here, these ones are terrible. I should probably shut these off, which I might as well do. This one's not even, not really sure why this one's showing ads right now. It hasn't been running, so that's kind of strange. So we are going to turn off this ad set. It's only had one play for $20 in spend. There's been zero conversions from it. And now want a cash offer is the other one that's had five video views for $19. Again, not great. So hopefully this one will have better results. It is a warm ad. So you are showing to people who have watched your ads in the past. They might not watch for as long, but you should be getting conversions from these ads. And if you aren't, change them up, turn it off, turn on something new and get some results. So let me know if you have questions, carter at carterppc.com. I can jump on a call with you or a quick chat, but I wish you guys the ultimate success. I will see you in the next video.